I mean, you know, in an ideal world, you could do that with so many of the calls that I make, no matter what they are, day trades or options. You could just plop it on because, I mean, there are so many times when I call aggressive entries, whether they're for options or the day trades, even the day trades in here, the people just in the room, not on the op doing the options, just the day trades, where they make huge moves right away, and you could just plop it on. But when they go against you, which sometimes they do, because not every trade that I call works, although, although this year it does appear that almost every trade I'm calling is working. <laughs> but, which is why some of you are really getting aggressive. Like Fred didn't use any stops this week, I don't think. Turtle just took the biggest size ever of anyone that I've ever seen take in any trade I've ever called. Um, so, you know, I think that the only, the only thing is that if, if one of the trades doesn't work, then you, you got to be okay with that. But, I mean, what was the one this week? Everything is a blur. What was Sohu? Was this the one? One of the ones this week just absolutely collapsed. Was it this? This is continuing today. 129. I forget how this set up. Here. Yeah, it was this one. So, you know. You could have just hammered it on, plopped it with the size on this. I mean, seriously. And who cares where you get out? If you had plopped on, you could have taken 10,000 shares short of this. You would have gotten filled, okay? So if you had done that, you could have made 10 grand in like three minutes. So, I mean... I call trades like this over and over and over and over and over again. But the one time one doesn't work, you got to be able to substantiate the loss. As long as you can do that, mentally and financially, you know, you could. That's for sure. You could do this here. Zen, if you want to do it, just buy it. It's holding. Here, here's the point. There you go. Do it if you want it. A market is going to attempt to hold. So Apple's trying to back up here. Is anyone still in it? Any questions at all about the week? It was a very good week. It's been a very good year. Um, I don't know if anyone has any questions. I mean, everyone should be doing well. And I think everyone is. Some of you have to work out platform issues, um, but those are certainly things that you can fix very easily. Gypsy said, thanks for a great week. I'm trying to think if there's anything else to talk about. I'm so glad we did this today because it really wasn't going to do anything. I really didn't like any of the things on the list. I mean, I rated like five or six things, but just couldn't get excited about any of them. Zero conviction. YRCW, let's see what that did. Uh, this did have a move. Weird, weird setup in here. And Mac really flipped. Malgro said it was a great week. Thank you. Enjoy your weekend. You're welcome. I will. Koala Bear had a good day. Is anyone still in Apple? It did have the morning move here. It's 1010. Got down, broke 163. 163.75 was the target. Went down, broke 160. Three went to 162.86. I think for the morning you should be out of that. 
Um, it will reset up again if you want to hold it all day. I do think this has more room in it today, but I would still get out and make sure you book your money. You could retake it later on a higher time frame. Gypsy Sun for the day. Yep, I think it's a good idea. And Amazon, if you want it, you can do it. Wait for the 15 minute or do it here. And the market is going to try to hold. It's a question of where and when and all of those things. All right, good job, everyone. I will see everyone next week. Have a wonderful weekend. Watch the Super Bowl. Go have fun with your friends and family. Watching the game. And I will see everybody next week. You're welcome.